Very, very cool. And what gets you motivated? What gets you that that the ticking? Well, it's so wonderful to be alive. That's one of the first things that I appreciate being alive and healthy and wishing to communicate with my fellow human beings. And murals have been that form of communication. And that's why the Jose Moya Pino murals are so key and so valuable to all of us. Now remember this. He was a Spaniard who did a portrait of the king, King Alfonso XIII. And while he was doing his portrait of the king, he asked the king for permission to go into the Prado. Now, the Prado is the museum in Madrid, Spain. And the king said, well, why do you want to go into the Prado? He said, I love Diego de Velázquez. Now, you people from San Diego, when you go to the San Diego Museum of Art, look up at the facade up there, and you'll see three figurative subject matter in the niches of the museum, and one of them is Diego de Velázquez. I believe it's the first one to the left. So the king, while he was getting his portrait painted by Diego de Velázquez, I mean, by, excuse me, by... Um, Don Jose Moya Pino allowed him to go into the to the the um, museum and do copies after Diego de Velázquez. So he goes in there and he studies them. He learns how to mix the paints. He learns about the stretcher bars and how the canvases were stretched. And he does close-up studies, and he paints 41 paintings. And the king is absolutely impressed. So he asks Don Jose Moya del Pino if he would be the ambassador to take these 41 paintings along with two of his own paintings to the United States to share with the American people this Spanish art to create an appreciation of Spanish art. So he arrives in New York in 1925. Then he's embraced by the Spanish Speaking Cultural Center in New York. He has a show there. Then he has a show in Philadelphia and he goes to Washington. And there he is sent to San Francisco. Two years later, he marries a woman that he meets in the San Francisco Bay Area. He becomes a, he becomes a painter, a, a portrait artist, and a muralist. And right after he paints the Coit Tower in San Francisco, he's also commissioned to do a brewery there in San Francisco. And the Aztec Brewery, which I believe is a different uh, company. It may still be the same, but it was a different company. Commissions him to come to San Diego to paint a mural. Well, they give him a home in Coronado, and he comes across in the ferry boat, sketching as he goes. Then he catches the trolley, sketching as he goes, and he arrives on Main Street in Barrio Logan, right at the end of the line where the Aztec Brewery was. And the Aztec Brewery was developed in such a manner that people from all over the United States would come and taste the beer and enjoy that ambience that was created there. 